Give me a high five. Good girl. Okay. High five me if you love me. Oh, good girl. Ready? High five me if you love to read. Oh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? My name is Avery and welcome to the start of my Romance-a-thon reading vlog. So actually it's not the um, official start date for the Romance-a-thon. I believe that it started on the 18th or the 17th. I don't remember. But it's actually the 20th today. The reason why I just now started filming for my reading vlog is because something happened in my Buzzword-a-thon reading vlog. Um, if you want to know the details and what happened I guess and all that kind of stuff um go check out that video um it's already posted something happened to me and I decided something and um my mental health was not good the past couple days I did not film at all I didn't even think about it because I was too caught up in my own thoughts so um I did not film these past couple days but I did read so I wanted to let y'all know what I read firstly um, before we get into this reading vlog I just want to let you know that I am NOT going to be talking about book summaries for any of these books unless they were not a part of my TBR video I posted a TBR video a couple videos ago for what I plan to read during this readathon if you want to know the summaries for any of these books be sure to check out that video first before you come into this one so you're not confused as to what the books are about and all that jazz but anyways I am 21 percent of the way through The Protector I am really enjoying the audiobook right now it's kind of like a hate to love thing kind of really liking it and then I am on page 230 of On the Island by Tracy Garvis Graves in my TBR video everyone's telling me how much they loved this book and how great of a book it is it's not a five star book for me no 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 i'll get probably more into that later i'm waiting for the kids i nanny in the carpool line and i think one of the parents is about to come up and talk to me <laughs> i'll hurry up um and i have jake's redemption in my purse right now i have not started it yet but i plan to that is the one book that i definitely 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 want to finish this week so i'm going to make that one a priority okay guys hello it's the next day the reason why I didn't update you later in the day yesterday is because I threw out my back. Um, if y'all don't know, I have, like, joint issues and nerve issues and all that jazz. Um, and I nanny a set of twins and five-year-old twins. And I won't be seeing them for over a week, so... They wanted and I wanted to pick them both up at the same time in a big hug to say bye. And, um, bent over to go pick them up. And couldn't even get them, like, off the floor. My back hurt so bad. And, like, I stood up and was, like, a little bit dizzy. Then, like, tried to walk it off even though my back was screaming in pain. Try I can't get the answer to that on Apple Watch. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you. Yeah, I tried to walk off the pain... I was about to leave like their house. I walked to the car. It hurt to walk, but like I thought it was fine. I would, the pain would stop. And then once I got in the car, it takes me like 10 minutes to drive home from their house. Once I got in the car and sat down, it was literally one of the worst things I've ever felt. And I was like death gripping the steering wheel and my like console right next to me screaming because every time I took my foot off the gas to put on the brake or every time I took my foot off the brake to put on the gas it hurt so bad it hurt my back so bad I was like crying screaming with tears and I couldn't pull over because it was like it's called the beltway it's like a major highway kind of thing that I used to go home I couldn't pull over there and my driving anxiety did not want me to even pull over I didn't care how bad I felt. So I got home and had to call my mom to help me out of the car. One of my neighbors had to, he had to physically like pick me up out of the car and bring me into the house cause I couldn't walk. That was yesterday around 6.30 and it is 9.30 the next day. I've just been having a lot of pain. It's been better, that's for freaking sure. At least I can sit up 
on my own now. It hurts to sit up, but I know I can do it. I can walk around the house, but like I can't really walk. I have to like wear socks and slide my feet across the floor because it hurts to pick my legs up. Like right now it's just throbbing. Sometimes it just starts throbbing. But anyway, last night I finished on the Island by Tracy Garbus Graves. Everyone on my romance a TBR talked about how interesting it sounded or how good it was. Y'all, this is not like a five star book at all. The pacing was way too fast for me. It's told in first person from both perspectives and like you don't get a lot of feelings, you just get a lot of dialogue. When like, I wanna know how you're feeling, I want like ugh, it's hard to explain but like all we get is dialogue when I want more than that it kind of was just like I went to this I did this next week that happened next week that happened next day blah 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 blah, blah. I just wanted more detail it wasn't detailed really at all and like some of the things didn't really make sense but, like th when they crash land and they're on this island they find a bottle of shampoo and like it lasts like four freaking years i don't think a bottle of shampoo can last you four years and they said they were using it every other day i use mine every i use my hair shampoo like every like three or four days and i have to get a new one in six months that just did not make sense to me i don't know i didn't feel like chemistry with the main characters like at all oh uh, in the end like a big like decision happens or like he decides something that's kind of major and like it's told in the perspective of like Anna at this point so we don't even know what his thoughts were getting to that point or accepting the way that he felt I know this is all very vague I do not want to spoil it but like I wanted his thoughts on the matter too so yeah I did not really enjoy this as much as I thought thought I would. I think I really also had high expectations because everyone was telling me how much I'd love it. So I'm giving this book a three out of five stars. It was okay. Like it wasn't bad. Like I didn't love it. Oh god I have to get up and go to the bathroom. I have to go to the bathroom. Ah. Okay I'll talk to y'all later. Hey y'all it's the next day. I have finished a whole entire book since last talking to you. I started and finished Debbie's Distraction by Ruby Dixon. This completes a challenge for, I think, read a book with pink on the cover. I think I give this four stars again. I don't know. They're just quick reads that I like and they make me happy. So I'm completely up to date with the Ice Home series right now. Yay. And then I started, I'm only on like page three, of Jake's Redemption by Jamie Schultz. I'm really looking forward to this book, so I plan to read some more of it um, later. And then I made a little bit of progress on The Protector. I have like nine hours left, I wanna say. Hopefully I can finish it by tomorrow because tomorrow is the last day. Yeah, I'm gonna get to reading this little chunker of a book. <laughs> hey y'all, it is later. It is 10 o'clock at night. And I have just been doing some stuff. I read another chapter of Jake's Redemption, so I'm about to start chapter three. But I think I'm gonna hold off for the rest of the night. Or maybe I'll read some more before I go to bed. I had dinner and had a good old bowl of ice cream while I watched um, Steph from Nefa Entertainment's reading vlog that I loved a lot. I will link her channel down below. I really love her. You probably can't see it, but my room is a disaster because I've been kind of bedridden for the past couple days because of my back so I um I thought I would do like I did in one of my other vlogs I'm going to watch some booktube while I clean my room so what I like to do is put my booktube watching up on my tv on my laptop behind me on my bed I like to comment while the videos go on and so I wanted to show y'all do another time lapse of the videos that I decide to watch and maybe y'all will find some good new booktubers to watch. I recommend all of these since I'm subscribed to all of them and I love all their videos. I will leave all of their links down in the description below. But without any further ado, here are some booktubers you should probably watch. <laughs>
I took a cleaning break to go watch Five Feet Apart with my sister and just <laughs> cried my eyes out. That sucked. Beautiful story, but <laughs> sucked. I might have to go get the book now. It was good. I didn't even cry back when, maybe because I was way younger and I didn't feel things that I do now. I don't know. But I did not cry when, like, I watched The Fault in Our Stars. This shit. <laughs> God. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed now. <laughs> hey y'all, it's the next day. I'm just sitting here reading with Miss Key. <gasps> you want a kid? Good girl. Yeah, I'm on page 40 of Jake's Redemption, and I'm really enjoying it. It's a little bit slow right now. Hopefully it picks up a little bit. I started a book <laughs> last night that was not on my TBR, but it just came out, so I needed to do it. I think it's like Georgie and Vectal's Honeymoon or something. It's another Ice Planet Barbarian book that came out recently. It's only 60 pages, so I'm like 30% done with it maybe. But yeah, today um, I have just been editing my May wrap up. Yes, it's almost the end of June and I just got around to filming and editing my May wrap up. So I uploaded that today and I'm uploading my footage for this reading vlog, maybe getting a head start on editing it. But yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and read with my little nug who's falling asleep. Do you wanna say hello? You wanna say hi? Hi, Miss Me. I love you. You wanna kiss? Kiss, kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Good girl. I love you. I love you. I love you. Oh. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> Give me a high five. Good girl. Okay. High five me if you love me. Oh, good girl. Ready? High five me if you love to read. Oh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> anything else today sorry my hair is really crazy looking um i don't know i'm listening to the protector hello right now while i'm doing some diamond painting um here is my little setup i don't know if you can there we go there's my setup i've only done a little bit on this side right here so far that darker spot that's all that i've put in and this is going to be a picture of the eiffel tower but i have to stay up really late because this booger here threw up on all of my sheets. So I have to wait for them to be washed and dried. So, aren't you just great? Okay, so the issue I have with this stinker behind me is I, okay, the times when I wash my sheets is one, when he throws up on them, or two, when they're dirty, and then I just wash them because they're dirty. But without fail, every time that I wash them with them just like being dirty or like they're due for a wash, he ends up throwing up on my mattress cover anyway. 
like I washed my sheets and my my um, my blanket earlier today and I was like cool I'm ready to put this on and go to sleep and then I walk into my room and he threw up on my mattress cover he just he, he does this to spite me I swear to you <laughs> he loves me but he likes to bug me and keep me up late so I can pet him right but anyways I'm gonna be listening to this book while I do some diamond painting hey y'all it is the end of this reading vlog it is many days later the reason why I didn't update you directly after is because that night I ended up tweaking my back again so um didn't read a lot for the rest of the readathon and was in a lot of pain for the rest of the readathon I'm just now getting over my back being tweaked again. But anyway, I digress. I'm just here to let y'all know what I read during this very messy readathon. <laughs> First, I read On the Island by Tracy Garvis Graves. I believe this completed the challenge for Read a Forbidden Romance. I gave this book a three out of five stars. I then read Debbie's Distraction by Ruby Dixon. Um, this completed the challenge for Read a Book with Pink on the cover. I gave this book a four out of five stars, I believe. Third, I read, I think, Ice Planet Honeymoon like Georgian Vectal's story by Ruby Dixon. I gave this book a three out of five stars, I believe, um, just because it was a novella. And this didn't complete any of my challenges. I don't have the book on me physically right now. It's in my purse somewhere in my very messy room. I read around 50 pages of Jake's Redemption by Jamie Schultz. I am enjoying this book. I don't know what I'm going to read it. I'm thinking like a Four right now the only reason why it's not a five for me is because it's being a little slow but I'm hoping it'll pick up soon but I haven't read it since I last updated you about it because I've been really busy and haven't had time to read that's the book that's on my priority list that I'm going to get to very soon so hopefully y'all will expect it in my June wrap-up I listened to around 60% of the protector by I'm sorry I'm drawing a blank on her name but picture of the books on the screen. I read about 60 something percent but then my um, audiobook time expired so I wasn't able to finish it for the romance-a-thon. Um, I am really enjoying this one right now more than I think most of the books that I've read this week so I can't wait till I get that back in the library. I think there's one person ahead of me right now for getting it back to me but other than that that's about it. I hope y'all enjoyed this very messy reading vlog. And if any of y'all know of some readathons that are happening in July, please let me know because I don't have any on my list and I just completed three in June. So I feel kind of naked without having a readathon during a month right now. But anyways, I will talk to y'all later in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.